assalamu alaikum dear students i am going to teach you slo number 7.5.1 from the chapter number 7 electrochemistry for the class of 9th aku eb so the topic is describe the manufacturing of sodium metal from the fused sodium chloride means from fused sodium chloride we have to manufacture we have to prepare the sodium metal so here the topic is electrochemical industries manufacture of sodium metal from the fused sodium chloride now one by one i am going to read and teach you uh, on the industrial scale means large scale molten sodium metal is obtained by the electrolysis of fused sodium chloride in the down cell by the name of chemist down so means from fused sodium chloride we extract we manufacture we prepare the sodium metal this electrolytic cell is circular furnace in the center there is a large block of graphite which act as an anode while cathode around it is made up of the iron shown in the figure 7.4 so there is a figure in which anode and cathodes are attached so here let's suppose uh, uh, simple little bit we are going to discuss about the, this diagram so we uh, inhale here from inhalate there is a sodium chloride and after that uh, during the reaction from sodium chloride chlorine gas outlet from here and sodium metal collects from this one this is the sodium metal so here is the sodium chloride in the form of molten or fused which is a present inhaled from here so iron cathode this is the anode which is made up of the iron means which is the negative cathode while carbon this one is the carbon which is the anode carbon is in the form of anode means which is the positive so anode is the positive and cathode is the negative so here another thing is a steel screen this is the steel screen what is the function of steel screen to prevent the sodium and chlorine intermixing means that this screen uh, prevent from the mixing of sodium and chlorine let's suppose there is not a screen then chlorine and sodium will mix and again the form sodium chloride we have to fuse break this one and separate the chlorine and uh, prepare the sodium metal so this is the diagrammatical uh, process in which uh, sodium metal is prepared in the industries level but working of the down seal we will discuss here working of the down seal <coughs> so there's a theory also uh, along with the reaction we will discuss in the reaction how reaction proceeds first there's a theory the fused sodium chloride produces okay the fused sodium chloride produces sodium ions and chloride ions means chloride ions it means when we uh, break the sodium chloride by the electrically then it will decompose into sodium positive and chlorine negative these things are written here which migrate to the respective electrodes means positive and negative this positive and this negative will migrate to opposite electrodes positive will move towards the negative electrode and negative will move towards the positive electrodes let's suppose there's an anode anode having let's suppose having positive charge then here will move negative charge if this is the cathode negative then here will move positive charge so again here which migrate to their respective electrodes on the passage of electric current means through the electric current the electrodes are separated by the steel gauze this is the steel gauze so the steel gauze to prevent 
the mixing of opposite charges positive and negative as we easily get the product such as the sodium metal so here the chloride ions are oxidized means a negative charge lose electrons and become the neutral to give the chlorine so here we will discuss uh, one by one this is the oxidize means lose and converts into cl2 gas at the anode the reaction occurs at the anode it is collected over the anode with an uh, inverted cone shaped structure and after the while the sodium ions are reduced at the cathode so the sodium ions uh, reduces means gain electrons charge decreases the reaction occurs at the cathode so the here again the chloride ions are oxidized to give the chlorine gas as the anodes it is collected over the anode within the inverted cone shaped structure while the sodium ions are reduced at the cathode and molten sodium metal flows on the denser molten salt mixture from where it is collected in the side tube this is the side tube in which sodium metal is obtained following reaction takes place during the electrolysis of molten sodium chloride and let's suppose uh, this is the sodium chloride when it is ionized means it breaks through the electric current the sodium breaks into positive charge chloride break into a negative charge so half cell reactions means positively reacts at the opposite electrodes where cathode and chloride will react at the anode so the half cell reaction at anode means oxidation uh, one thing you must keep in your mind in anode there is always oxidation means lose of the electrons in anode negative charges will react so the chloride will react at anode and lose the electron in product side these two electrons are lost by the chloride to convert the in a chlorine molecule half cell reaction at the cathode and in cathode always there is the reduction means in cathode having already negative charge means excess of the electrons those elements move there they have sufficient of the electrons sorry deficient of the electrons and they will gain electrons so the sodium ions will gain electrons to convert in the sodium metal so one reaction occurs at the cathode other reaction occurs at the anode so overall reaction is sum of these two half cell reactions when sodium chloride break it will convert chlorine gas and sodium metal chlorine gas will evaporate from this one and sodium metal collects from the side this one so this is the uh, working of down cell in which uh, we prepare the sodium metal from the fused sodium chloride and uh, we have another SLO uh, 7.5.2 from the same chapter electrochemistry uh, describe the manufacturing of sodium hydroxide from the aqueous solution of sodium chloride so we will prepare <coughs> sodium hydroxide from the aqueous solution of sodium chloride so here manufacturing of sodium hydroxide from the brine so first we must know about the brine actually brine is the saturated solution of sodium chloride means when sodium chloride mixed with the water here is the reaction last reaction we will discuss after the uh, first one when sodium chloride mixed with the water this is called brine so here we will discuss so on industrial scale <coughs> means large scale Caustic soda means sodium hydroxide. This is sodium hydroxide is produced in the Nelson seed name of chemist by the electrolysis of aqueous solution of sodium chloride called as a brine. Means sodium chloride when mixed with the water. This is called aqueous solution of sodium chloride and electrolysis means breaking of the sodium chloride. Uh, melting of the sodium chloride through the electricity the schematic diagram of the cell is uh, shown in the figure 7.5 this is the figure 7.5 we will discuss here it consists of a steel tank the cell contains a steel tank in which the graphite anode is suspended in the 
center of the u shape perforated iron here the u shape perforated so the iron this is the u shaped this is the u shaped perforated iron cathode this is the perforated iron cathode u shaped tube and other the graphite means carbon which is the anode so again here u uh, shaped perforated iron cathode this iron cathode is a internally linked with the Evstose diagram there is the Evstose diagram internally inside the cell uh, electrolyte brine is present means here so sodium chloride is a in the form of solution in the form of water which is an electrolyte that is called brine is present inside the iron cathode inside the iron cathode this is the uh, iron cathode this is the iron cathode inside the iron cathode there is a brine is present so we will discuss one by one working of the nelson cell first uh, we have to see this diagram so here when solution is filled here the reaction occurs let's suppose sodium chloride when react with the water so hydrogen gas evaporates this is the hydrogen gas this is the hydrogen gas which evaporates outlet chlorine gas this is the outlet for the chlorine gas and sodium hydroxide forms this is the sodium hydroxide which passed from the u shaped tube and deposit here this is the sodium hydroxide this is the sodium hydroxide in the catch basin so uh, working of the nelson cell here aqueous solution of sodium chloride consists of sodium positive means ion chloride ion hydrogen ions OH ions it means sodium and chlorine the sodium chloride which contains sodium ions again here chloride ions when water breaks HOH it will contains H positive ions and OH ions these ions move towards their respective electrodes actually these ions will travel to their respective electrodes positive will move to negative electrodes negative move will to positive electrodes and a redox reaction takes place at these electrodes the redox means in which the oxidation and reduction both occurs this is called redox reaction when electrolysis takes place kilo, when breaking takes place through the electric current chloride ions are discharged at anode so chloride ions will discharge at a anode this is the anode in which chloride ions are discharged this is the chloride ions which discharge at anode and chloride uh, here uh, the electrolyte takes place chloride ions discharge at anode and chlorine gas rises into the dome at the top of the seal after that uh, the hydrogen ions are discharged at the cathode while the hydrogen ions are discharged at the cathode and hydrogen gas escape through the pipe this is the pipe in which hydrogen gas through the pipe is discharged in this is the outlet the sodium hydroxide solution slowly percolates in a catch basin means sodium hydroxides slowly pass into the catch basin where the sodium hydroxide deposit into the form of viscous liquid so the nelson sales for the production of sodium hydroxide so the overall reaction is in this form the brine ionizes into produces when sodium chloride ionized breaks sodium positive chlorine negative so the reaction at anode means oxidation so one thing uh, must keep in your mind in anode there is always oxidation means lose of the electrons so uh, those elements move there which having the excess of the electrons they will lose and become the neutral so the chloride ions lose electrons these product side electrons are lost and chloride will convert into chlorine gas the reaction at cathode means reduction in cathode there is also reduction means gain of the electrons those elements move there ions move there they having and uh, deficient of the electrons and uh, less electrons they will gain electrons and reduces to hydrogen gas so the, again the sodium positive ions and OH negative ions when sodium positive and OH negative sodium ions from the sodium chloride 
O H shines from the water. They both react because sodium chloride and O H ions means water both are present in the seal. So the product obtains sodium hydroxide. So the overall cell reaction of this process is sodium chloride when water both reacts to form hydrogen gas, chloride gas, and sodium hydroxide. So the here uh, we manufacture sodium hydroxide in the industrial level. So this is the whole process for the preparation of the sodium hydroxide in the Nelson seal. So the working of Nelson seal, this is the working of the Nelson seal. This is the industry's level uh, production of the sodium hydroxide.